Welcome back to the AutoCAD 2011 uh, tutorial series. In the first tutorial we talked about the AutoCAD workspace environment, uh, the ribbons, a little bit about the command line and, and just kind of the whole the, the whole thing. Uh, in, in this tutorial we're going to talk a little bit more about the line command, get into that a little bit more in depth, but before we do that I want to talk to you about the user coordinate system or the AutoCAD workspace. The AutoCAD workspace that you're drawing in is based on the Cartesian coordinate system. And if you remember back to algebra back in high school, uh, the Cartesian coordinate system had two axes or two axes. It had a y axis that went up and down and it had an x axis that went from left to right. And the point at which those two axes cross is 0 0 and anything drawn or anything in this area over here is a positive x and a positive y and anything down here would be a positive x and a negative y over here would be a negative x and a negative y and here would be a negative x and a positive y and AutoCAD uses this Cartesian coordinate workspace for its drawing environment now AutoCAD doesn't care where you work in this Cartesian coordinate workspace AutoCAD basically is, is uh, infinite in size so is you know wherever you're drawing it doesn't matter but the things that you do draw um, AutoCAD knows uh, their points, where they start and where they end, based upon this coordinate system. So as AutoCAD represents this line on your screen visually, um, it's actually being defined by a starting point on this Cartesian coordinate workspace or Cartesian coordinate system and an end point um, in this Cartesian coordinate system and then it's drawing the line in between those two points. So that's that's how AutoCAD or how the AutoCAD drawing area works. Uh, you'll notice down here uh, is your UCS icon and this shows you your X and your Y and in 2D uh, the UCS icon really is, isn't very significant. Um, as you get into 3D it does make a difference because as you move around your drawing in three dimensions uh, this UCS icon will change and it'll give you an indication as to where or from what perspective you're looking at your objects in 3D. But again, in uh, the 2D drawing environment, which, what we're, which is what we're going to be discussing for now, uh, this really is, is not very significant. Um, when AutoCAD first starts, um, just so you know, uh, the standard AutoCAD template file, when you start, start a new drawing in AutoCAD, uh, you are working over here in this area. Now, if you did start to draw and you moved over into these other areas, it doesn't matter. These lines are are um, imaginary um, and you typically don't use the actual coordinates um, of lines and arcs or the actual coordinates of starting points and endpoints to enter your information. It's typically done uh, relative to something else that you've drawn and we'll get into how all that works a little bit later. So that's the user coordinate system and, and that's what the AutoCAD workspace uh, is based on. Now just real quick before I move on, you'll notice down here on your status bar, down here in the bottom left, uh, you see these numbers. There's the X value, the Y value, and the Z value of my cursor as I move around the screen. As I move closer to 0, 0, down to the left, you'll notice these numbers getting smaller, and as I move further away, those numbers get larger. Uh, and that's just showing you, it's just kind of a always on indicator of where your cursor is on your screen. And again, does it really matter? No, because the way we draw, we don't draw based on this coordinate system. We draw based on uh, information already in the drawing, like relative to the endpoint of this line or, or something like that. So it's something to know, but not nothing to uh, stress out about too much. Let's go ahead and talk about the line command a little bit more. In the first tutorial we talked about the line command and and to start the line command we can either type in the word line on our command line and hit enter um, or we can use the alias or the command alias and just hit the L and hit enter. Either way it's going to start the command uh, the line command and it's going to say specify first point. Now make sure your dynamic input is off. In the last tutorial I was showing you how using dynamic endpoint or excuse me dynamic input when you type in a command on the command line or type in a command at all it's actually going to show you that command right here um, in your dynamic input area right near your cursor 
that's great as you get used to AutoCAD and uh, as you become more proficient. But as a beginner, um, I'm going to recommend for right now you just you turn that off. So I'm going to hit Escape here and go down here to this dynamic input button um, and click on it and turn that off. So now when I type in my command line and hit enter, it's going to say specify first point and it's not going to give me any additional information near my cursor uh, because for a new user that sometimes that can be a little bit confusing. So I started my, my line command, it's asking me to specify my first point. I'm going to pick a point arbitrarily out here in space and now AutoCAD is going to ask me for the next point or it's going to give me an option in the brackets. Okay, So I'm just going to pick right here, uh, just anywhere out here, I'm going to pick again and again it's going to continue in the line command until I tell it to stop. So notice it says specify next point. So I'm going to pick again and I've got this little rubber banding effect going on on my cursor where it's pulling the line and it's saying specify next point. So I'm going to pick again. Okay, And it's going to continue to keep me in the line command until I tell it to stop. Uh, one way to tell it to stop is by hitting enter. Now you have a couple of things that you can do there. You can hit enter on your keyboard um, or you can hit the alternate keyboard for enter which is your space bar. Either one of those will end the command. Okay. Notice I've got a blank command prompt now. I hit my space bar. So again I'm going to start the line command, pick my first point, pick my second point, pick my third point and this time I'm going to hit the enter on my keyboard. Now one other way that you can end the command is if you're drawing a line let's say I'm picking my first point, pick my second point, pick my third point. If I hit my right mouse button, I'm going to click on it right now, it's going to bring up this window, this command window, where I have these shortcuts. Uh, one of them, the very top one, is enter. Enter here is just like hitting enter on your keyboard. Okay. Uh, the cancel is like hitting your escape key. So if I click on enter here, it's going to end the command just like hitting the enter key on my keyboard or the space bar. Okay. So I'm going to draw them. I'm going to show you that again. Start my line command. Pick my first point, second point, third point, fourth point. Hit my right mouse button. It's going to pop up this window and then I can just click enter right here. Now I'm kind of old school. I'm not used to that window. I've gotten used to it, but um, I prefer to just use the space bar with my thumb. Again, we talked about that in the last tutorial. My left hand is always on my keyboard with my thumb on my space bar for my enter and my right hand stays on my mouse. Um, it just makes it a little bit more efficient once you get used to it. Now a couple of things about the line command. You'll notice these brackets. Uh, notice, look right down here, it says close slash undo. Well those are, anytime AutoCAD has an option for the command, it'll put them in brackets. So let me start the line command again. I'm going to hit L and I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to pick my first point. Now watch the command line. It says specify first point. I'm going to pick my first point. Now look, it says specify next point or and in brackets it has undo. And notice the capital letter is U. What that's telling me is if I just hit that capital letter U, so if I type U on my keyboard, notice down here I typed in U and I hit enter, it's going to undo. Okay? And now it's going to say again, specify first point. So I'm still in the line command, but it just undid the last selection point that I made on my screen. So I'm going to pick my first point. I'm going to pick my second point, And it still says undo. So if I want to, I can hit U and hit enter. It'll go back to the first one. So I'm going to hit my second point again. Now watch this. After I hit my third point, look at this additional option that it's given me. Not only do I have the option to undo, but I have the option now to hit C for close. So if I wanted to close this object, a real fast way to do that is to hit the C and then hit enter. And that just closed the object. And that works, it just depends on you know what you're doing with your drawing. It doesn't always work, but um, I mean, it, it always works. The option is always there, but it might not work for what you're trying to accomplish uh, within your drawing. But that's another option that you have. So start my line command, pick, 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 and notice down here on my command line, close and undo. I can undo. Um, and then to end the command, I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard or spacebar with my thumb, and that ends the command. 
Now, a, a minute ago, I was showing you how this, if you hit the right mouse button, it's going to bring up this menu. I'm going to turn this off for now because as a new user, I think it can be kind of complicated. Let's stick with just using the enter key and the space bar for right now for, uh, for the enter option. Um, so I'm going to hit escape a couple of times. And I'm going to go over here to my command line. And on my command line, I'm going to put my cursor on my command line. And I'm going to hit my right mouse button. What that's going to do is bring up this window. And I can go over here to where it says options. Click on options. And it's going to bring up my options window. Now there is a million and one different options uh, in, this, in this dialog box. And I'm not going to get into all of them right now, obviously. But if you go over here to the user preferences section, I'm going to go over here to where it says Windows Standard Behavior, and I'm going to uncheck where it says Shortcut Menus in the Drawing Area, or Shortcut Menus in Drawing Area. And then I'm going to hit OK. What that does is, now when I start a command like the Line Command, and I pick my first point, my second point, my third point, now when I hit my right mouse button, instead of that little window popping up, it's going to act like the space bar or the Enter key on my keyboard. So I'm going to hit my right mouse button, and it's going to end the command. Again, it's going to act just like the space bar or the enter key on my keyboard. So for a new user, it, that's kind of nice. So instead of having to hit the space bar or enter, you can just hit your right mouse button to end the command, and you're back to your blank command prompt. Now remember, if you ever get stuck and you're not sure why AutoCAD's asking you for this or that, hit the escape key a few times. Notice it says cancel, cancel. Hit the escape key a few times and it's going to cancel out of any command that you're in and give you a blank command prompt. Okay. If you are working in a command, let's say the line command again. I'm going to start my line command. Pick my first point, my second point, my third point. And you select an option that's not available. Notice the options that I have are C for close and U for undo. Well, let's say I hit L and hit enter. Oops. It says point or option keyword required. Well, that's AutoCAD's way of saying, hey, you made a mistake, that's not an option. L is not one of my options, right? Only close and undo are. So what it's going to do is it's just going to ignore what you typed in and just leave you where you were and, uh, again, ask you for the next point. Okay. So if you see that there, um, you'll, you'll notice, uh-oh, I must have typed something wrong because uh, it's telling me I've, I've made a mistake or I've selected an option that's not available. So that's the way that works. Now I'm going to hit enter here. Um, if you want to see what the commands were uh, that you had previously or what's going on and you want to review, if you hit your F2 button, it's going to bring up the uh, this AutoCAD window and it's going to show you a list of all your commands. And you can actually scroll all the way up to the very beginning of this AutoCAD section or session I should say. Um, of all your commands, okay, and that show you. So if you ever wanted to review and say, "Oh, where did I mess up?" Well, I messed up right here, and that's why it told me right. It told me uh, that I made a mistake right here. Okay, to close that window, just hit the X button. So that's the line command. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about the erase command, and I'm going to wait until the next tutorial because uh, with the erase command, um, it comes with it selections and how you can make selections and it can get a little bit confusing so I wanted to wait till the next tutorial we'll go over the erase command and we'll talk about uh, different methods of selecting your objects uh, when you're choosing the objects to erase so that's all for this tutorial I uh, look forward to visiting with you in the next tutorial and until then have a great one thanks